and I am really tired. This flu, getting over it, is just draining me. Morning. Today, we're gonna build some cabinets. <coughs> I'm getting over a cold, or a flu, I should say. I had 104 temperature the other day, so uh, the temperature broke, but I uh, still got a nasty cough, so excuse my coughing. So what we're doing today, is we're going to be building a desk. Uh, I have the desk here. It's finished, um, but now I just need to cut the metal for it uh, for the cross or for to support the countertop here. This desk is going to have a big span here in the middle. It's going to be 12 feet long. countertop won't be able to span that without a support. Here's my two base cabinets. Countertop's going to go across this. I have some square tubing here, or rectangle tubing, one inch by two inch that's going to support this countertop. So in theory, I should be able to stand on this And everything's going to be just fine. So I incorporated this square rectangle tubing into my countertop to uh, support this span here. Otherwise, I'd have to have some cross member uh, bracing. So I think that I'm a, a light 125 or 225 pound individual, and it's holding me just fine. So this is going to work fantastic. Now all I need to do is screw some holes uh, for some screws and screw some holes here so I can screw the countertop down. Here's my hole right here, marked it, here's the other side. So I'm gonna do my small little hole on this side so that way when my screw goes through here, it will screw into the top part right there. And I have done that for all of these. There's my little hole inside there. So I got the big hole here, turn it around. Here's the little hole. This will sit up like this. Got my drill motor. I go through this little hole here. Up. And that way I can screw in and hold it to the countertop. So, these got burrs on them. Plus this is raw steel so it will rust. So I'm gonna grind off the burrs, then I'm going to clean it and then prime and paint it. I'm not worried too much about good coverage or not. I just don't want it to be raw wood. Or what? I don't want it to be raw steel. You can see it's quite dirty. I want to make sure the paint sticks. Here's my two 
cabinets on either side. This one here is going to have one small drawer and two bigger drawers down here. So one, two, three. This one here is going to have two file drawers. There's one drawer right there. There's the rest of the drawers over there. The doors, these are the drawer fronts I should say, that are going to go and they're going to be inset. So they're going to sit inside, not overlay, but inside here. As I made a little jig, I have this jig here, measured out my spacing, tells me where my drawers are. Do you ever feel like one of those days where you're doing the best you can, but it seems like you're never going anywhere? That's what today feels like to me. I, I'm getting stuff done, but not nearly as fast as I want to be. So, here in this cabinet, I'm going to be putting my uh, side mounts on. There's a lip here, and there's a lip on both sides. And I have to fill that lip with something flush, so that way the hardware sits evenly. Otherwise, it won't work, all right? So, I've already calculated where my spacing is, and this is just a spacer. So, the bottom of my hardware is going to be sitting on this. So, here's one piece, and then my other piece, my other spacer, which I have now misplaced. My other spacer here, which is eight and a quarter is down here and then this will be here like this. That's where my two hardwares for my two file cabinets are going to go. So I figured that out, measuring and all that. All I'm doing now, put some glue on this. This is inside a drawer box, big drawers. So it doesn't have to look pretty. No one's ever really gonna look inside here. The drawer box hide most of this. Whenever you got something square, I always check to make sure. Sometimes I put things in the wrong spot. Here's my glide. Since these are inset, I'm going to put this flush to the back of this frame. I may have to do some adjusting, so I'm only going to put in a couple screws in the slots that I can adjust with. A quarter inch space on the bottom. Since these files have a certain depth or a certain width to each section, these boxes had to be a certain size, which means that I had to fill in 5 eighths of an inch in this opening so that these would work with these glides. I've cut these uh, supports for the files in there and it is ready to go. Got one, two rows here, and then you also have two rows here, 26 inches deep. So now all I gotta do is put the uh, drawer fronts on them. Now this side, all I have to do is flush this and this because of the fact that my drawer box is taking up this whole space. Yay, we did it! I got two drawers here, three drawers here. Everything works nice and smooth. It's now on to hanging the drawer fronts.
Well, I did it, you guys. I was able to get these drawers in, drawer fronts on. Um, all this is ready now is to be put in place. So, as you can see here, I got two files and a throwing a uh, screwdriver. Two files here, two files here. Then I got a shallow drawer and two deeper drawers here. I made the uh, metal divider that's going to support the uh, countertop that's going to span these two. The whole thing is somewhere around 12 feet long, uh, including these. And uh, I think I'm getting that from my friend tomorrow uh, from the finish shop, or my friend who's doing the finishing. So stay tuned. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you videos of it in place, but I will do my best to do that. Keep watching, there'll be more videos of me doing other uh, fun things here in the shop. Uh, and uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. A dilemma. So whenever you buy hardware or anything, you always have to check it. It seems like it never fully works. This one here, doesn't always catch on this little soft close and then when I go to open it I got a reef on this thing let me step back I got a reef on this thing and it doesn't it's, this part of the metal here is bowed out now I have to send it back so what I'm gonna do is I have uh, another pair that has it's not self closing it has this little black thing that sits on here like this and it clicks onto it and holds it closed. If you just pop that off, now this is just free closing. If I put this on one of the smaller drawers with the other side with this catch, like this one here, that catch will close the drawer. So I'll be able to fix it, but I don't want to have to do this. So this is what I got to do because I got to get this job done.